So you don't want to sculpt every single detail into your model. Not a problem. For this tutorial, let's assume that we wanted to add some gold buttons on top of this model, which currently has nothing but an artificial leather material. Well, to start things off, right click and add a white mask, then right click the mask and add a paint layer. And just so that we can see what we're doing, we'll press X to switch to black mode and draw a few dots so that we can see our work. And then right click the mask again and add an anchor point. Now from here, we're going to add a new fill layer, hold alt, and left click to disable everything except for height and increase the value a little bit. Then right click and add a black mask and right click again and add a fill layer. And under grayscale, set it to your anchor point. Now because our main layer is a white mask, we have to go down here and say invert. Now we just drag the material that we want our buttons to be. In my case, I want the buttons to look golden, so I'm going to drag a basic brass material onto the model. Right click and add a black mask, then right click again and add a fill layer. And under grayscale again, set it to your anchor point. Now because our main layer is a white mask, we have to go down here and say invert, and then move the levels up to something like 0.976. Awesome. Now, there's some easy things that we can do to make it five times better. For example, if we just duplicate the height layer and reverse it a bit and bump the levels up to something like 0.976, now it looks like the buttons are digging into the leather behind it. And if we want the buttons to dig even more into the leather, we can right click the mask, add a filter, and give it a bevel. And if you mess with these settings a little bit more, now it's really going to start digging in. Also, the shape that you draw is dependent on your alpha. If you don't like this flat center, you can change it to something more round like shape bell. And this kind of stuff works really well if you change the spacing of your brush. So if you're trying to do something like a couch design and you have the spacing set correctly, that is what this kind of stuff is ideal for. Anyway, hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.